First, um, there is this, we, 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 we can disqualify things as being untrue just by reflection when there are internal contradictions that don't make sense. And if something is not contradictory and is cohesive together, that's a point in its favor, but it doesn't show that it's true necessarily, okay? The next one is by observation. And by observation, we are looking at the nature of reality, all right? Now, in my view, the nature of reality is not just the physical realm, because it's obvious to everyone when you think about it that the physical realm is not the only realm there is. Did you hear me say when you think about it? What's a thought? A thought doesn't extend in space. It doesn't uh, respond to the laws of physics and chemistry. A thought is something you have somewhere, but it's not in your brain. There may be brain things going on, but that is not in your brain. I sometimes do an exercise and encourage people to think about their mother doing some task. And as they close their eyes and they're thinking about it, I say, what color is the blouse that she's wearing? And then I have them open their eyes. And then they tell me the color. I say, wait a minute, you saw your mother with a blouse of a certain color. Where was that? Where was she? Now, obviously, it wasn't your mother proper, they say, in, it, in herself, as it were. But you saw something with such vividness that you could tell the clothing in that image. Where was that? I'll tell you where it wasn't. It wasn't in your brain. You weren't going to crack open your brain, and there's your mom sitting there doing dishes, or, oh, that's so sexist. Um, changing the oil of your F-150. I'm an old guy. I just kind of do that kind of stuff, right? No. There's a whole world out there that we're constantly in touch with, okay, that is not material. This is a world that's broken. 